pre planning um, uh, uh, gauge, uh, but I don't have uh, up to the information. I'm <laughs> watching uh, 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 another uh, uh, cable station to try to get some more current information because they have some people out in the field. I, have, I, I don't have anything other than anything additional to report on that. Stanford, you were explaining to me Stanford has a, a floodgate of some kind. Uh, Stanford uh, was extensively flooded as a result of hurricanes in, uh, uh, in the 50s. Uh, they have a dike system that actually protects the downtown from, from being uh, uh, inundated. So uh, apparently that system has worked. Can I know exactly they're doing a lot of the uh, uh, they're, uh, they're, they're, they're allowing spillway to, uh, you know, they're emptying it out. So basically they're allowing the water to proceed, uh, in a, hopefully in an orderly fashion, but, but the water is coming down the river so quickly that, that, that's, a, a defensive, uh, a move. It's, uh, you know, we're, we're, they're doing the best they can to control the flow. And we, we had a, a flow information. What did, did you know? It's three feet above where we, uh, normally would have it. And Can you say that we couldn't hear the question? Uh, uh, it's about three and a half feet above uh, what we would like to see it at, uh, and what that causes is tributary backup. So it, it's, it, it's the tributaries as well as um, uh, the river itself. So the water gates are all been open? Right? Yes. Available to us right now, um, uh, and uh, and we'll have available uh, 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 tomorrow. I think 900. Uh, so you know, listen, we're, 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 we we have to deploy the assets we have. Uh, we're working with FEMA uh, uh, on the deployment of additional assets. Um, uh, again, let's just put this in perspective. This storm has uh, really done a lot of damage from North Carolina through. Massachusetts at this point, and, and about to get to Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine. So uh, this is a very large portion of the United States. This is this is this is not small. There's nothing small about this storm. Can you also confirm that uh, this, the uh, power crews uh, can start working, uh, in, even if it's windy? But if it gets to be in excess of 30 mile an hour, they have to stop it, working. Correct. They're they're going to make judgments um, based on where they are. Um, and uh, uh, so there may be disruptions to recovery efforts uh, uh, this afternoon because of high winds. We, we're not going to endanger people, um, uh, the lives of people, um, uh, so we have to be careful. And, that, and that, that's crews who are up in the air, and also is crews who may be uh, wanting to, to uh, uh, get at tree, and, uh, particularly elevated tree conditions. What is the nature of the ceiling being able to do any kind of uh, time frame? I know it's early here. Uh, yeah. they, what have they told you? Uh, uh, actually, it, it, what they've told us is it's entirely too early to understand the, the scope of the problem, to tell you the truth, other than pure numbers. Um, uh, uh, the telephone company provided information about 200 uh, pole, but 2,000 poles being damaged. Uh, now, I, you know, I don't know what the extent of that damage is, uh, but they're sharing poles. Uh, with yeah, whatever. These utilities or uh, CLMP. Um, so, based on the, the number that I got from AT and T, I have to assume they got a pretty big problem at this point. So, did, did the CLMP report note none of their poles have to go? I, I didn't. You know what? Um, uh, I got the information from AT and T after I had spoken to CLMP. We'll try to update that information. If we get it, we'll share it with you. Yes. Uh, you know, uh, uh, Commissioner Esty is here. Uh, I know that they've done, with respect to state dams, uh, they're back out checking them now. Again, I, we did we did early in the storm, they're back out now that it's a, uh, the wind has died down. Do you have anything else to say on that, Dan? Uh, right. Uh, we are checking all the dams that we can, uh, starting the priority order this afternoon. We have also told the municipalities that, that you know, we, we have responsibility of our state dams. They have responsibility of uh, other local dams not under state control within their jurisdictions. We've advised them that we think they should all be checked. Uh, uh, I've heard uh, references to injuries, but none serious. And the prospect of other firefighters injured as well? There were two uh, uh, firefighters who believe, uh, received uh, electric shocks uh, sufficient that they needed to be taken to the hospital. One has been released, one has been stabilized, and is planning to be released later today. What is the nature of the shoreline? Do you plan on coming back to the operator for another debrief? I will be here for a debrief and full uh, 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 EOC uh, conference at 5.15. Uh, I anticipate uh, meeting with you all at 6 o'clock. 
Uh, if there's additional data, I'll instruct that while I'm absent, I'll instruct the uh, staff to share that with you. I wouldn't expect a whole lot, quite frankly, uh, between now and 5.15. Um, so this is your chance to, to, to get the information. And, I, and I've tried to give you uh, what I thought was uh, current and important information for you to share. Do you know the nature of the damage to the New Canaan rail line? Is Extensive real? is what we're hearing. Cat catenary. catenary. No, I don't, I don't think it's a washout situation. I think it's a catenary uh, issue. Explain that. Uh, the uh, elevated electric lines. Oh, I see. Tree da extensive tree damage <laughs> over, the, over the tracks, which would have brought down uh, catenary systems. I, I think we're, gonna, we're probably going to see a fair amount of that um, as we uh, get additional reports from Metro North. We got that as a local report. Uh, from people that we had down there. We have not gotten official damage reports from Metro North, and that's why I'm advising you we, we do not uh, know what the uh, what the status of that system is and how quickly it will recover. As far as the schools and uh, power outages in the coming week as people go back to the schools, are those strictly local decisions? Or are you going to